everyone, welcome back to another SpinSucks Ask Me Anything. I am Jenny Dietrich. All right, I'm going to be very upfront and honest that this question that came from the community is very self-serving. And there were lots of other questions that I could have answered, but I'm going to answer this self-serving one because I think it's really important for everybody to hear the answer. Um, and it's about the PESO model certification. Hi all, I've been enrolled on the PESO model accredita accreditation for some time now, but I have still yet to complete it. Lots of life changes going on at the moment and with running my own PR company, though it's just myself and now my first employee, which means you're very busy by the way, I'm really struggling to, excuse me, to commit the time to getting through the course. I was wondering, everyone here who's completed it, how did you find was the best way to go through it? I find I'm spending all day fighting fires and dealing with responses and work in the day, then in the evening I'm seeing my son or having to catch up on the to-do list. I'm just struggling to devote time to my own learning. It's really important and I really wanna go through the course. Any advice, suggestions would be welcome. So there were a couple of really great suggestions in the community, which I will tell you about. Um, I use the Google Calendar focus time feature, blocking my calendar so no one books me for something and I actually respect it, makes a world of difference for me. Um, somebody else said, I'm a little bit of the same place, although I'm doing the course on a client campaign that runs during April, so stalling it is not an option. Also a great idea. Um, another one said, I'm trying to block time every day. Um, because I'm also doing it for a client. So that makes it really helpful. Another one said, I'm doing this with my team. So we're doing it for a campaign that we're launching in April. Also a great idea. And then one other person said, get an accountability partner. Also love that. All really great ideas. Um, you know, for my own professional development, which I'm always trying to do, although some days and weeks are better than others, I treat it just like I do exercise. Like for me, exercise absolutely positively has to happen every single day. You do not get to interrupt that. Um, and I block it on my calendar so that nobody can block time or book time during that time. Um, that said, you know, there, I go through different phases in my own learning and my own development. And, you know, sometimes I block a half a day a week to get things done, like this kind of work or really deep work or focused work. Sometimes I do an entire week for the, for the month so that there's no meetings, but I can focus on the business. I can focus on professional development. And then I just time block it. And I say, okay, from eight to 10, I'm doing professional development. And from 10 to 12, I'm doing Armit Dietrich. And from 12 to two, I'm doing spin sucks. And then from two to five, I'm like catching up on email and Slack and all that. So there are lots of different ways that you can do it, but I think the focus feature and the time blocking and respecting it for yourself and saying, I'm not going to let clients whatever else get in the way. Um, I will admit that I used to do Friday afternoons as my work on myself professional development days. And what I discovered instead is that I would be like, oh, I don't have any meetings this afternoon. Let's go for a hundred mile bike ride. And that's what I would do. So I was working on a different part of my development, but not my professional development. So I stopped doing that on Friday afternoons because it's just too tempting. So find something that works for you. If it's an accountability partner, if it's the focus feature in Google, if it's blocking time, if it's getting up an hour earlier to do it. When I was writing Spin Sucks, I got up an hour earlier every day. And that's what I did very first thing is I focused for one hour. I wrote as much as I could in that hour and then I was done. Um, so just, just figure out what works for you. You may have to do some trial and error to see, but that's the very best way to get this stuff done. Take it in chunks. Um, even with like business books, which I don't prefer, you know, if at the end of the day, I'd rather read fiction. So I say to myself, if you read a chapter of this book, you can, you can read whatever you want or watch Netflix or get into Ozark or whatever it happens to be. So figure out what works, works for you. But there, those are a lot of really great ideas. And it doesn't have to be just the PESA model certification. It can be any time, type of professional development. If you have a question for us and you're not already in the amazing, free, fantastic, I should have done all Fs, free, fantastic, fabulous, Spin Sucks community, you can go to spinsucks.com slash spin hyphen sucks hyphen community. That's spinsucks.com slash spin hyphen sucks hyphen community. I'll see you next week.